Hey everybody, it's Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm talking about my 2022 sewing goals. Hey, welcome back. So sewing goals tend to work well for me. For the last couple of years, I've given myself a sewing goal to reach for. And for the last couple of years, I've exceeded the goal. So it's worked for me and I want to continue to work for towards it. So what's worked for me is sewing, committing to sewing one garment a month for the next 12 months for a total of 12 garments. Anything more than that is gravy, but the the goal that I'm shooting for is one garment a month. This year I have also committed to sewing one little girl's dress for the next 12 months for Dress a Girl. Last year sewing at the very least 30 minutes a day worked really well for me. It keeps me sewing and it helps to keep the sojo going. Even when it's kind of flat, if you get yourself in the room in there, set the timer for at least 30 minutes and do something in that room. Uh, trace a pattern, organize a pattern, pick out a pattern and a fabric for the next time you come in there for 30 minutes. It really works. So it worked for me. I'm going to continue to do that this year. Another goal slash resolution is shopping my fabric stash. I don't have a big, big one, but it's big enough. I want to make sure that I go through it and use it. Now, um, I'm also shopping my current pattern stash. I am committing to not purchasing any more patterns, please. So I am uh, shopping my patterns, shopping the fabric. The only time I'm allowing myself to purchase fabric is if I need something to coordinate with what I'm making. This year I have a list of garments that I want to sew. In my mind, I'm sewing. I'm sewing right now, but I can't seem to, you know, sew as quickly as the ideas that are coming into my head. But I did choose at least 12 patterns to keep me on the one garment a month. This year I really want to focus on sewing pants, slacks, trousers that really fit. I have a couple of pieces of fabric that I know are going to make fabulous wrap dresses and I have a favorite Vogue wrap dress pattern that I love to go to. I also need some denim pieces. So this year I'm hoping to focus on sort of like a denim collection, <laughs> um, denim pants, denim skirt, a denim dress, a denim shirt dress, vest, whatever. I, I hope to make some sort of a little collection out of that. I'm hoping to get a few more summer dresses out this year, as well as a, a great uh, wrap skirt pattern that I want to try and some top. Let me show you the patterns that I have shopped in my own <laughs> pattern stash and my fabric that I have shopped in my own stash. I love this wrap dress. I've already made a couple and I need a couple more. Wrap dresses is easy dressing and looks good on everybody. So I highly recommend a wrap dress and I recommend this one. It's very easy Vogue 8379. 8379 is a wrap front dress which, with soft pleats, a side tie, and sleeve variations. For 8379, I've chosen two fabrics. First is this beautiful animal print blue and white stretch knit. I picked this up in the Miami area in so, at our Socation last year. And second is this beautiful, I think this is a double brush poly, it feels like it feels like jammies. <laughs> uh, double brush poly and a mustard with an animal print and some chains. It has a very, to me, a very designer vibe to it. Also nice stretch. I think it's going to make a beautiful wrap dress. Hopefully in 2022, I hope to make a two piece bathing suit. So McCall's 5400 is the bathing suit uh, pattern that I'm looking at. Uh, I love this version here. I may have to raise the trunks up just a little. I purchased this pattern last year from Spandex by the Yard with the intention of making a bathing suit. So for pants, I've chosen McCall's 5408. I love the flare. Also Butterick 3680 and Butterick 5682. For tops, I'm going with some of my favorites. They work for me. I have two new look patterns that I really love. It's New Look 6598 and New Look 6070. I think either one of these tops is going to look really nice 
with this pants pattern. Also for tops, I have these two Butterick patterns, 3967 and 5615. I, this one, I love this pattern. It really fits well. It, uh, I made it last year and I'm looking forward to making all the versions at some point. I have not chosen fabric from my stash yet. I do have fabric that will work for either one of these patterns. I just have not chosen yet. For skirt, I'd like to try this C and Sew 5952 beautiful A-line wrap skirt. I love the top. It also, the top also comes in this pattern. Um, looking forward to trying this. I have not picked uh, fabric for this yet, but I'm sure I have something in my stash that'll work. I'm looking forward to making Quick Sew 4262 this summer. I love this uh, tunic dress there. For the dress, I've chosen this fabric. It is a lightweight, it's kind of light to medium weight. I'm not sure if it's a sateen. There is a tiny little bit of stretch to it. And I think it almost looks like the cover shot. So um, I'm really looking forward to making this dress this summer. Another pattern I'm looking forward to trying out for this summer is McCall's 6024. It's a Laura Ashley pattern. This is also a wrap dress and they suggest that you use lightweight or a chalet. And I picked up this chalet for, I, I think it was like $1.99 or a dollar a yard from Fabric Mart uh, when it was on sale online. It's so gorgeous. It's got hibiscus flowers, black. It's beautiful in this fuchsia pink is also in there in the flower so i just think that this is going to make a beautiful wrap dress i saw someone else just make this pattern in in a beautiful batik it was gorgeous she inspired me to try it also so i'm going to work on simplicity 8172 it's view c and i am going to use this beautiful batik multicolored batik fabric that i have had in my stash for I think three, <laughs> three years. So it is time to use this baby up. So I have some channel goals also. I love to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of August of this year. And I think I can do it if I post a little bit more consistently. You guys seem to like my monthly makes. That'll continue. I hope to sprinkle in a few more separate videos of separate makes and pattern reviews throughout the year. What are your sewing goals? Thanks for letting me share.